Hi guys, welcome to The Gun Shop. Today we're going to be talking about shot string. Uh, shot string is something that is misunderstood by a lot of people and not really even recognised by others. When most people think about a shotgun's pattern, we think about it in a very 2D effect. You know, when we go out and pattern shotguns, we shoot at a piece of paper, you know, and we actually measure the width of pattern and all this sort of thing. What something that we don't really pay much attention to is the actual depth of pattern. And it actually makes a lot of difference, maybe to the killing capacity of cartridges, certainly to the way they work, and is a real defining thing between a good quality cartridge and a bad quality cartridge. Um, so, first things that's worth saying is that what happens when you pull the trigger is the shot is pushed out the end of the gun. The first parts of the shot will remain entirely spherical, and the back parts of the shot will be deformed, the bits close to the wad and the bits closer to the choke will be deformed. Those bits will not be as ballistically efficient, perhaps, as the front of the shot as such they will decelerate faster and the front shot will keep accelerating as such when it comes out of the gun not only does it do this it also lengthens so the front of the shot will accelerate away while the back half will trail off. Actual shot string length can vary massively uh, and it depends very much on the quality of a cartridge you think harder better quality lead or lead that has more additives to make it harder or non-lead will deform less keep accelerating more and as such will have a shorter shot string. Cheap lead that will have more inconsistencies will have a longer shot string because you will have a much greater A, deformation, so more deceleration and more inconsistency of, of acceleration because most more lead will deform. There you go. So, common misconceptions to do with shot string. Firstly, is that you can flick shot string. You know, with the actual time that shot comes out the bar end of the barrel, you're talking about a few hundredths of a second. So your ability that you'd have to actually swing to push the, you know, think, uh, of actually push flicking the shot out the end of your gun, you'd have to A, be moving like a very, very quick, or you'd have to be talking very, very, very marginal gains of rather long distance. You know, you're only going to see marginal gains, and if you're really literally just flicking that barrel, not using it, you might see a marginal gain at sort of 60 to 80 yards. So no, you can't really flick a gun. The actual flicking of the gun is more of a technique to shoot. However, some people will say you flick the gun to flick your shot string. No, no, you don't. Second is that if you aim further in front, you're more less you're less likely to miss in front. That's not to do so much to do with shot string. You think the time of intercept set of a shot string is gonna allow you maybe all of about two to four inches at an average speed clay. You know, you're talking a tenth of a second, that sort of timing that you're talking about, of which you're going to have to put that gun for it to be caught in the tail end. That said, you'll think that tail end shot is also deformed. There's going to be a little bit less of it, less dense in the front of the pattern. So if by some miracle you do catch it in the back of the pattern, one piece of shot might not be enough to break it. You can change your shot string, certainly. Um, like I said, we can always get better or worse quality cartridges. Also, choke will change shot string. Uh, a tighter choke will provide a slightly sl smaller shot string. But again, if we're focusing too much on shot string, you're not really focusing on where to put the gun in the first place. And actually, that's probably much more important. The whole 2D pattern is there for a reason. So you know your width and you can build confidence that your gun actually has at least a even spread, a half decent pattern. Check it out on a 2D piece of paper. Don't worry too much. Just say back in the day, people used to shoot. Uh, you know, I remember a friend telling me he had his old truck pull a uh, bale cart along with a big piece of wallpaper on it, and he shot at it, and he calculated something like he had a, I think, a 14-foot shot string or something like that. By the time that he'd shot at that, and then also sort of shot at the static target, and then shot at the moving target to actually read his shot string. Nowadays, there's slow-mo cams. There's a few other videos out there of slow-mo shot strings, and you'll hear results anywhere between you know, I think about 5 foot and 20 foot at 40 yards, depending on who you listen to and what videos you watch and what information you get. Maybe not worth dwelling on, however, certainly a good reason to buy a better cartridge, more consistent shot strings, more consistent patterns, probably worth checking that out. Many thanks for watching, take care, see you next time.